24 hours back, India made a major move against China and the world is still talking about it. I'm talking about the Chinese app ban. 59 Chinese smartphone applications now out of the Indian market. The move is a message from India to China, a strike, if you will, to defend India's digital borders. Tonight on Gravitas, we'll explore every angle of India's ban. What does it mean for China? Why is the decision significant and how it sets the precedent in the global war against China? First, the, de the decision itself, a total of 59 Chinese apps, banned. Already, they have started disappearing from app stores. We have broken the story down into five questions and answers for you. We'll take them one by one. Question number one, why did India ban these Chinese apps? The answer is quite simple. It is retaliation, a tit-for-tat move for the attack at the border. China is a different kind of beast and India cannot tackle China like it does Pakistan. India needs a different strategy for China. So India decided to hit China at a sensitive spot. Of course, the reason given is the security threats that these apps pose, and that too is a fact. China's national intelligence law makes it legally binding on all Chinese companies, I repeat, all Chinese companies, to share data and intelligence. So any app which says that user data is secure and not being shared with the government of China is lying. China is banking on technology to dominate the world. The world of the internet, smartphones and apps has no boundaries. It's easier to infiltrate. Case in point, the alleged Russian meddling in the last US presidential election. Foreign players can inflict a lot of damage using technology. And China has been turning into a big player in India. Until yesterday, Chinese apps freely operated in India. Now some are banned, others under scrutiny. In one single move, India has cut China's access to one of the biggest internet markets in the world. India has more than 500 million internet users. That is 50% of India's population. The list of banned apps has some famous names like TikTok, Vigo Video and Halo. All three are owned by Chinese tech giant ByteDance. Together, these three apps alone have a base, a user base of more than 300 million Indians. In its order, the government of India has said that the ban is a result of many complaints. Chinese apps have been accused of stealing data. They're now being seen as a threat to the security and defense of India. So now that these apps are banned, what does it mean for users? Can you still download them on your smartphone? The answer to that question is no. After India's decision, app stores have started removing these applications from their platforms. They will have to comply with government orders. The removal has begun. It should take a few days to complete. Already TikTok, the most high profile victim of this ban, has been hidden from the search results of app stores. TikTok had more than 200 million users in India. That's a third of its global user base. India is a promising market for TikTok. Just listen to these estimates. This company was growing 50%, 5-0, 50% year-on-year in India. In the last quarter of 2019 alone, the company had earned $280 million in India. It was targeting $1 billion in ad revenues this year. Now all those plans have been derailed. India's ban will affect TikTok's ability to bring new users. What about the existing ones? What happens to those who had installed these apps on their phones? the so-called TikTok stars. Using banned apps will be very hard, if not impossible. The government is asking internet service providers, meaning telecom companies, to block access to these apps. Now, those who are motivated will find a way to access these platforms despite the ban, but the government's orders are clear. Attempts are being made to plug the loopholes, but will the ban last forever? What's next for these banned companies in India? Well, they're figuring out what next. Most of them have been silent. Some have issued statements. The most quoted one is again from TikTok. It says this ban is an interim order. TikTok India says it has been invited to meet the government and submit its defense. We can tell you the government has made no such statement. It has given no indication that it will make concessions going forward. So far, the ban is here to stay. And China is fuming. Listen to what Beijing had to say 
about India's decision. China is strongly concerned about the announcement on the Indian side. We are still working to get more information and verification. I want to emphasize that the Chinese government has always asked Chinese enterprises to carry out international cooperation based on compliance with local laws and regulations. While the Indian government has the responsibility to protect overseas investors, including Chinese investors, according to the market rules. The Chinese embassy in New Delhi has also issued a statement. It said that China firmly opposes India's decision. Well, here's the thing. China is in no position to lecture anyone about rules, least of all India. China is breaking international rules on a daily basis. Military aggression and human rights violations have become the norm. And that makes India's decision all the more significant. It's a message, not just for China, but the rest of the world too. Countries must learn to resist China, both at the border and on the World Wide Web. India's decision sets a precedent. The time to criticize China is over. Now is the time to act. The pandemic is a classic case of criminal negligence. The military expansionism is plain wrong, and the digital infiltration is the last thing that the world should put up with.